Hey what is going on guys, welcome back to another video and today's video is the first and official Hypixel news recap. In these recaps, I'll be recapping everything that's gone on in Hypixel for the past month regardless if I've made a video on it or not. If I have made a video, I'll be correcting mistakes I made in that video and also adding new information. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps me a lot. Also in the description, there is a link to my discord server and group channel. In fact, in the top right corner of the screen, you can see a link to my group channel, which you can instantly click, so do be sure to check it out. Anyways, without further ado, enjoy the video. So the first news is kind of unfortunate, and it is coming from the Hypixel admin mini clone who actually announced they have cancer. They did this on a now deleted tweet, but it seems as they're fine right now, and they said they have great doctors, and also they're still working on Skyblock. So let's hope the best for mini clone and just move on. 10 dice later, September 14th, a lot of things happened. For starters, the YouTuber Tommy in it actually made a deal the owner of Hypixel, Simon, to actually get a custom rank in the future. What we know about the rank right now is how Tommy is gonna acquire it and what color it is. We know Tommy will get it as a reward for 15 million subscribers and we also know that rank itself is actually gonna be a red rank like the YouTube and admin ranks. It would've been pink but Tommy didn't want it to be pink so Simon chose it as red. If you wanna know more, I've actually made a video on it so you can check it out after this one and yeah. Talk about ranks, the YouTuber Rice Farmer 11 actually got denied for YouTube rank. I made a video on this and in this video I said Rice Farmer will only be able to get YouTube rank in 2022. Rice Farmer actually confirmed this by commenting on my video so there you have it. If you want to know the details do be sure to check out my video after this one of course. And let's move on with the news. Also in the same day Hypixel Guild Miniature actually got 10 out of 10 spots in the Hole in the Walls wins leaderboard. If you don't know Miniature is actually my guild personally and it's also the number one arcade guild so they're well on their way to getting a second leaderboard which is the Underspleef one but the Hole in the Wall one is kind of whack because the number one player who isn't in the guild is actually banned and since i know what basically a lot of people in the community and the one hole in the wall player who's banned specifically the number one hole in the wall player actually commented on my video actually saying this just you know while my first ban was fair my second ban was the same reason for k9l slash what cps this is where you play a game of blocking dead and you basically have a few or just you in the lobby this looks like boosting for achievements and stuff like that so they got banned for that and i've already seen it happen before so yeah that kind of sucks dude but yeah mini is on their way to getting their second 10 out of 10 leaderboard for ender spleef which is kind of complex even if they get all the spots in the leaderboard it still won't count and there's a reason why however i've already gone through that reason in my video so i do recommend you check it out after this one of course the following day though hypixel did not only just release an update for murder mystery but also did something pretty crazy firstly though you did hear me right september 15th hypixel updated murder mystery in this new murder mystery update they released 30 new quality of life changes with 10 new achievements four of them being tiered and two new maps whilst i haven't made a video on this the link to the thread is in the description if you want to check it out so yeah the same day however hypixel made a survey relating to migrating to play competitive games such as uat ranked skywars and tournaments i made a video related to this and in this video i kind of messed up saying the other survey that they made actually didn't get through and it actually did get through so my bad on that a thing that happened that day as well which tolerates very well with this is that the account security ban duration has been reduced from 30 days to 14 days if you don't know what account security bans are they're basically banning you if you log on from a new IP which is either far away or if you're using a VPN. This is to avoid hackers logging into your account and obviously hacking on Hypixel. If you ask me, it's a great change that they have reduced this from 30 days to 14 as you don't require 30 days to get your account back if you've gotten it hacked. Five days later, on September 20th, Hypixel actually releases a UHC update. Now, uh, with the survey and everything, it might actually not be a coincidence that they released this update. I feel like if they actually release this update, then it probably means they'll be adding the migration requirement any time now. They're probably working on some stuff behind the scenes and obviously more people need to migrate so more people can play. This is gonna cut on cheaters so much in the end. Anyways, this new update actually includes 7 new modifiers, 10 new achievements, 13 balance changes and bug fixes, and also, obviously I made a video on it. Two days later on September 22nd, Hypixel admin Jay Varman made a thread related to Skyblock 1.0. Hypixel Skyblock 1.0 will not only be the biggest Skyblock update, but also the biggest update in Hypixel history. Skyblock is obviously a game they don't want to kill, so they've actually made three additional threads related to changes they will be making for different things in skyblock those are only the three that have been released there are way more coming in the future honestly these threads are so big that i won't mention them that much because 
There is so much. They are gradually releasing more and more threads and have done so September 22nd, 24th, and 27th so far. And keep in mind that these huge threads are only related to one feature in Skyblock each or two, so it's kind of crazy. If you're a Skyblock player and already haven't heard of this, I do recommend you check the threads in the description. And yeah, on September 24th, Hypixel released the September 2021 bug fix. This is by far Hypixel's biggest bug fix update, containing 105 total bug fixes for games all around Hypixel. One of the more notable games obviously that isn't skyblock for these bug fixes was arcade now i actually know the reason hypixel hasn't made any changes to arcade in this as you can probably guess hypixel is making an arcade update and i'll make a video on it if you guys want this arcade update will obviously include bug fixes which is why it's not in this thread a few other things you might be excited for in this arcade update is new api stats and also almost a thousand new achievement points so if you guys do want a full leak of this do let me know in the description and i'll be leaking it for you guys well, it's not really a leak, but it's not well-known information, and I actually have the list of achievements and stuff like that, so yeah. The following day, September 25th, Hypixel actually accidentally released a Halloween Bedwars map. Now, this map was Steam Pumpkin, and it's actually a fast-gen map reskin of the map Steampunk. After two to three days of this map being released, it actually got removed again, so it was obviously a mistake on Hypixel's end. I actually made a video on this detailing everything that will be happening in the Halloween update, plus some extra things that I know is coming. So again, if you're interested, don't forget to check it out later. September 25th, Seventh, there is a small news from Hypixel admin Minkloon asking, should there be a 20 seconds grace period before bin auctions can be bought? Now, bin auctions are basically auctions you can instantly buy in the Hypixel Skyblock. Basically, most people voted yes, so maybe you will have a 20 second grace period before you can buy stuff in the bin auction. Obviously, it's probably because people are instantly buying things when they come on the bin auction, so this might give some people time. Now, obviously, if you mess up the price for a bin auction, then you can change it in 20 seconds before anyone can buy it. So yeah, this will probably be added to Skyblock. And finally ending off the news, the number one Bedwars guild actually got 9 out of 10 leaderboards in the freeze leaderboards, but to look like it got 10 out of 10, they actually changed their tag to cold. Now the only player in the wins leaderboard that isn't on this number one guild has a guild tag of cold, and well, as you can probably guess, they changed their guild tag to cold, so it looked like they had 10 out of 10. They've already changed back now, but it's pretty cool. The source of the screenshot I'm pretty sure is from OP Mind's tweet, if you were wondering. And that about wraps up the September 2021 news in Hypixel. Please do consider subscribing to me, my group channel, and all that stuff, as this video was so much effort to make. I actually speed ran making this video, so I actually made it in less than a day or so, so please subscribe. Regardless though, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos, which I haven't mentioned in this video, or if I have, then also check those out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.